Laura here and today I'm bringing you a video on how I edit my makeup pictures and what apps I use and I'm giving you all the tips and tricks of everything that I do. If you've never seen my pictures before, please go check out my Instagram. I'm going to be putting it right over here. That's going to give you more of an insight on how I edit my pictures and if this is something that you want to see, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I have my phone here and before we start, I just want to talk a, a little bit about why I edit my pictures and why I feel like it's important for makeup artists or makeup enthusiasts or makeup bloggers or just anyone that's in the makeup industry and wants to make it in social media. I feel like editing your pictures and knowing how to edit your pictures is a really, really important thing. So just to give you a little bit of an insight, I'm a makeup artist, right? And every time someone goes into my Instagram, I feel like that gives them almost like a visual of who I am and what my work is or how my work is. So your Instagram is going to be your portfolio. That's like the first impression that people are going to see from you. And I really feel like people take this for granted a lot of times and I feel like a lot of people just really don't know the importance of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna get right ahead into it. So um, as you can see, I did this look today and I already took the pictures and I'm gonna start screen recording this just so you guys can see it um, right here on the screen. Um, so I took pictures in all different kinds of angles and lighting and with different devices just because I want to show you what I do on a regular when I do a look and what I do to edit it. So I'm going to start with the pictures that I took with my phone. So the first pictures that I took um, were in the front camera and I used the portrait mode. Um, but portrait mode really does smooth out the skin way better than the actual camera. So like just the regular camera. So that's why I tend to mostly go for portrait. But the ones that you guys are seeing now are all portrait pictures that I took on my phone. And these are all with natural lighting from the window. These ones are the ones that I took with the ring light and as you can see the lighting is a lot different if you have a lot of pictures or you took a lot of pictures um you don't obviously are not going to post all of them most likely um but maybe in the future if you need content or you really like the look and you want to post it again just to remind people about the look or whatever um you can just go back to the pictures that you took this day and you can just post it from these and you're gonna have content so that is extra content for you guys these are the ones that I took with my camera. Now, when I'm taking pictures with my camera, I have a Canon SL2, which is the one that I'm recording on right now. Um, it is awesome for like videos, it's awesome for pictures. So as you can see, these ones are the ones that I took with my professional cam Canon camera. And obviously the quality of the picture is way better than the one with my iPhone. Okay, so the first app that I always go to when I'm editing my pictures is always Facetune. Also, another disclaimer that I want to say is that I am a believer on enhancing the picture quality and the way the makeup looks on Facetune or editing the picture, but in no way I'm saying that you should 100% edit your picture in a way that it's gonna change the entire look completely. But you know what I mean, like a lot of people go overboard with the face too and it just looks completely and 100% fake and that's not what I'm trying to show you guys. I'm just trying to show you how you can make your picture and your makeup look better with Facetune. So this is the picture that I chose um, to be the first one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is crop it if I need to. Um, so I'm gonna use the canvas option right underneath and I'm gonna use the crop. Um, now, my sweater is a really important part of this picture. So in other days, if I wasn't wearing like a shirt that goes with my makeup, I would probably just like crop it all the way down to like my face because I want the attention to be on my face and the makeup. Um, but since the makeup once inspired on the sweater, um, I'm just gonna leave that down a little bit so you can still see the sweater okay so now we have this after i crop it the first thing i do is my face so i smooth out my face and of course as you guys can tell i mean i don't know if you can really tell in the video but i don't have perfect skin you guys i, I really really don't and I will never deny that. Um, I do have texture and I really hate when my texture shows in my pictures. 
Okay, so I just wanted to get on here real quick and show you guys something that I couldn't show you with the picture that I was editing because I didn't have any breakouts, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but this is another picture which I had a lot of breakouts and a lot of spots and I really, really don't like them showing on my pictures. Um, so my tool or the tool that I use for um, pretty much to get rid of them is the patch tool. So what I do is I click on the patch option on Facetune underneath and then when you click on patch it's going to show up a little circle and basically what this is, um, one of them is going to be a patch that you're going to put on a different part of your face that does not have a breakout and then the other one's going to be on top of the breakout that you have. So you're pretty much replacing or placing the the area that does not have a breakout on top of the one that does and pretty much creates like a whole new layer so that's kind of like a tip and a trick that i do um, to make my pictures look a lot more natural because if you just go over with the smoothing tool on top of the breakout especially breakouts that are really prominent and like really textured it's going to look really unnatural if you just go over it with the smoothing tool it's just going to look way too over smooth and you're not going to like it so that is why i take the patch tool and as you can see this is how i'm doing it and i always 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 zoom out and then i click on the before and after just so i can see the difference of you know how it looks like of course take a new patch from an area where you know it's gonna look natural on that area so i just wanted to give you guys that trick and i really hope you take something from it because i absolutely love this tool and i feel like a lot of people don't know how to use it so yeah as you can see i'm just going back and forth like zooming out to see how i'm doing so far and i think the main mistake or the number one mistake that people make with the smoothing option is that they go ham on it to the point where it looks like a mannequin or your skin looks fake and like plastic so that's not what you want to do so what i do is i go to the areas where i need the most like smoothing and I just smooth those areas, but I try to leave every other area that does not need smoothing um, untouched. So as you can see, you can still kind of see some texture like on the nose. I try not to smooth out the nose too much because again, that's gonna make it look fake. Okay, so since we are still working on the face, I'm going to use the picker option. So hold on a second, I'm gonna go back. So this is the main screen of Facetune. By the way, I did not mention this, but yes, I do use Facetune 1, not the second one. But anyways, you're gonna go to the main screen. You're gonna have all these options under here. Obviously, we use the smoothing one and the canvas one already. So next up for the face, uh, option that I use a lot um, is the tones option. So you're gonna go to tones and then you're gonna choose picker. So what the picker is, is that it's gonna pick up any color where you click on it. So next up, what I like to do is make sure that my highlight is bright enough. Um, as you guys know, I love highlight and I love to be seen from a mile away, but of course, sometimes it's not picked up very nicely um, on the camera. So you kind of have to enhance it um, with Facetune. Okay, so I'm back here because unfortunately, while I was filming, um, my phone just stopped screen recording, so it didn't record any of this, so I'm just going to walk you guys through this. I just had to go back and start over again on the highlight part. So basically, the first thing I'm going to do is pick on the whiten tool. Now, this tool specifically was made for your teeth, obviously, so it's to wind your teeth. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can also use it to highlight or to brighten up any certain areas. So that is the first tool I pick to brighten up my highlight. So basically I picked it, and then what you're gonna do is just lightly tap wherever you have highlights. So the tip of your nose, on your cheeks, a little bit on your forehead, just pretty much wherever you actually applied highlight you want to make stand out, you take the whitening tool and then you just tap all over it um, just to make it a little bit brighter. And as you can see, I'm just going back and forth and seeing what I've done. So like the before and after, just to make sure that I like what I've done so far before I click on accept. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the eyes. But the first thing I'm going to do is take the detail tool. Now the detail tool is awesome because it's just going to bring back a little bit more of the texture that you need or that the picture didn't pick up or the camera didn't pick up. And another trick with the detail tool is making your eyes much 
brighter um some people ask me like how do i make my eyes look so bright and so detailed is a detail tool on facetune is the best thing ever so with the detail tool i just want to show you the difference with my eyes so this is the before and this is the after so i don't change the tone of my eyes at all so it, it just makes it look like so much more strong and just like piercing so i love doing that okay so one thing that i will do about these eyes is the darkness on my um bottom waterline i just feel like as you can see a little bit of skin um went through right there and i don't like that um, i just want to make it dark as it should be <laughs> so i'm gonna go and pick this color which is the black one and then i'm gonna go to tones and just go over my waterline with this just to make sure that i get rid of any like white that might be on there because again i just want to make my waterline as black as possible i usually do this all around my eyes like let's just say if it's a day that i wear a liner on my waterline um i always do this because i always like to make it look darker um when you take pictures the light that's reflecting on you is usually going to make that darkness look a little bit less dark um so i always like to go back and bring back that darkness so it still looks dark okay cool now we have this and i'm gonna show you the before and after this is how it looks before now it's how it looks after now again i'm gonna go in with the eyes and i can see here that this color like this dark color right here could go just a little bit um more down so i'm just gonna add some a little bit right here and as you guys saw i i clicked on the picker clicked on that color and then i'm going in with tones like the brush just to make sure i pick it up so just to show you a little bit of, of how this works um I picked the color, I clicked on tones, this is the before, and this is the after. So as you can see, filled in a little bit right there on my inner corner, um, and it just looks way more So as you guys saw, I fast forwarded through that and basically what I did is the same thing that I explained to you guys. So I went to my eyes and I used the tones um, tool a lot. So I went back and forth between the picker and the tool. So I'm just going to show you the difference. Um, this is the before and this is the after. Before and after. So as you can see, it's a lot more smooth and the colors are just way more vibrant. Um, I could literally go on and tell you everything you can do with the, the tomes tool because you can literally do anything um, and as you guys just saw um, I really just enhanced my eyeshadow a lot more so then you're gonna see it right here on your camera roll so after I've done my face tuning and all that kind of stuff that's when I go to the Instagram app and this is when I'm about to go and post it so this is as if we were about to post right now um so we're gonna pick the picture that we just edited which is this one anyway so we're gonna click on next and i love instagram's new features because i feel like they do give you a lot of options of what you can do um with your pictures so the first thing i do always is sharpen my pictures like please 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 sharpen your pictures i feel like this makes such a huge huge difference um so if you go on the edit um option on the right hand side you're gonna go all the way down and the last one's gonna be sharpen um so what this does is going to add detail to your picture so it's going to look less blurry now something i do not like about instagram is the fact that it does reduce the quality of your picture unfortunately so you might see it like this and it might look good but then the moment it goes up it's not that good of a quality and that really really sucks it's happened to me with many of my posts and i absolutely hate it so i feel like the sharpen tool is a really good way to almost prevent that or to make it better once you do post it i'm, I'm good i already clicked on sharpen and i usually like to go to 20 it really depends how the picture is that day so if you click on it, it's going to show you the before and then when you let it go, it's going to show you the after. I feel like it's not enough. So I'm, I'm just going to go like, let's say to 60 just to show you the difference. So this is 60 right now. And this is before 
and this is after. So as you guys can see, it's a lot more defined. You can see my eyebrows a lot more. My hair is more defined. Just like everything is way more defined. So I love this feature. So I'm going to leave it there at 60. And then I'm going to go to contrast. And the contrast is what's going to help um, with the color and the vibrancy of the color. So I'm going to go probably to 15. Because you always want to make it you know look natural you know you don't want to make it like seem like you tweaked it around a lot so i feel like 15 is like a good medium um unless you want more vibrancy then you go all the way but like i said it's not going to look very natural so usually i go to 15 or even like you can do 25 at the most so this is around 25 and as you can see this is the before and this is the after um but i kind of like the 15 just better because it does look a little bit more natural trust and sharpness is something that i do to every single one of my pictures um and it's definitely going to help a lot if you want to bring texture to the picture and the skin and just make it look a little bit more realistic so definitely sharpen up your pics guys so this is what it looks like so far i love how it's coming out um if you feel like your picture is a little bit too dark you can always go to bright brightness and then just brighten it up a little bit but i feel like mine is good today so i just wanted to show you guys one last thing i am a die-hard apple user i love apple and apple products um, so i just really wanted to show you what you can do to edit your pictures on your phone i do have an iphone 11 and they've added so many features for you to edit your pictures right on your phone so you don't have to download an external app or anything like that you just go right to your pictures and click on the top right hand side it says edit and all these features are going to pop up you can change the vibrancy so your colors look a lot more vibrant you can do the sharpness there you can do contrast pretty much everything that we just talked about on the instagram app you can do it on your phone so i just wanted to show you guys that because i feel like it's amazing what they've done with the phone so far and it's really helpful so yeah so with that we come to the end of this video if you stuck all the way through thank you so much i don't know how long this is gonna be but if it was long i'm sorry but i was just trying to give you guys as much information as i could but if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this if you want to see more pictures or want to know all the details of this look I am going to be posting a lot of pictures on my Instagram, so go check it out right now if you want to know makeup deets and all that kind of stuff. My phone and me are out. That was a fail. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful, awesome day. I will see you on my next one. Bye.